Hello everyone and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. This is episode 8. So we now need to... Hang on, if I go to the map now... Um, go there... I'm really, really enjoying this, so... Okay, up we go... Oops, excuse me, sorry. That's better. Right, up here. I had an itch. Shouldn't there be auras or someone from the okay. ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade? Okay. Potions, here we come. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Point for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Alright. Yes. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Nice. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Okay, thank you, Professor. Let me go this way. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of. I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office. He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. You remember me, don't you? Gareth Weasley. Ah, yes. We met in the common room. Listen, anyone with a troll sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fooper feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. I don't know, Gareth. I don't want to get on Sharp's bad side. You won't. Fooper feathers aren't that valuable. Sharp won't even miss it. I've enough to worry about collecting the ingredients he wants me to get. I'm afraid I can't help you. I understand. 
I'll sort something else out. Alright. Keep your potion Okay. Under eggs. Okay. Okay. A well-prepared witch or wizard always has proficiency in potions or two things that cannot okay. be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor, again. Okay. I brewed an Edoras potion as you asked, Professor. Glad you managed to stay on task. Not every class is so eventful. I saw Mr. Weasley speaking with you earlier. He can be quite persuasive. Glad you managed to resist. You've done well today. I confess I was... Skeptical, given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well <coughs> to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. And you can keep that fwoppa feather. This time, that'll be all. All right. How do you know that I, I think have... each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Thank you. Okay. Ugh. My roads are going to reap from Gareth's inspiration. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Okay, no, it's all I wanted. I wanted that one. Uh, where's that one? Sorry, sorry. So, Let me go, sir. House goes. Look here. Find him near the Great Hall. Okay, so uh, gear. No, I want quests. Okay, so so nearly his headless neck. Okay, we're discovering. Hang on, I need to go this way. Wait, hang on. If I had to pick one property to be back. Okay. Hey, it's me, Gareth. Do you have a moment? Uh, you there? Uh, yes, you. 
I wonder if you might uh, come with me for a moment. Okay. You want to see me, sir? Yes, Sir Nicholas de Mimsy Porpington, at your service. Nice to meet you, Sir Nicholas. I know about the book you found and its missing pages. I may be able to help. Follow me, if you will. It's not too far. Okay. Wait, how do you know about the book? And that it's missing pages? Word gets around amongst the ghosts. You were spotted with Mr. Sallow in the restricted section. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. Okay. This may be a leap, but I believe I know who ended up with those pages. I'd be happy to take you to him, if you'd be so kind as to perform a small favor for me along the way. Okay. And what's that? Hmm. A small favor in exchange for getting those pages. Yes, it's, it's nothing really. I'd be grateful if you could simply go into the kitchen and procure a little rotten roast beef. I beg your pardon. Roast beef. Rotten roast beef. That is correct. Rotten roast beef. If one floats through it just right, one can almost taste it. Mm. Ugh. I suppose I can do that. But why me? It's simple, my young friend. My ghostly form cannot carry it. Oh, hello, there's a chest here. Now, if you'd be so kind as to collect the roast beef, I shall explain everything else in due course. Ah, here we are. Tickle the pear and head on in. Did you say tickle the pear? Yes, in the painting. I'll wait right here. Uh, do try not to get in the way of the house elves. Mm, I'm already imagining the sweet aroma of rotten roast beef. <laughs> Excuse me. Ah, okay. You go out and I go in. A student Never will in the kitchen. Students. What could be what? delicious food? Okay. Revelio. Hmm. Okay. Hello. Can you point me in the direction of the rubbish? Towards the other end of the kitchen. If it's not taken out yet, just follow your nose. You'll find it soon enough. Okay. Revelio. Here's some beef, but it's not rotten. I'd best keep looking. Okay. Okay. Okay, there's a nut. Hang on. Pardon me, but can you point me to the rubbish? Nonsuch was just about to dispose of today's collection. It's towards the back. Help yourself, I suppose. Towards the back. Okay. Well, they're doing your dance. Okay. Here's a welcome treat. Delicious. Mm, okay. Revelio. I don't know where it is. There's plates there. There's el an elf running around. Oh, hang on. I see it. I Ugh, there's a disgusting smell. I must be getting close. What a treat! What 
can think he get for you. A pumpkin pasty? Perhaps some Welsh rabbit? Sounds lovely, but what I really need is this rotten roast beef. Ah, Nick sent you, didn't he? Please help yourself. Think he supposes Nick's tired of loitering about simply to experience the faintest memory of the taste of food. It was nice to meet you. Thank you for the beef. Happy to help, and to meet you as well. Please give Nick Finky's regards. Aw, oh, lovely. All right, let's get out of here. I've gained a new appreciation for breakfast. You're back. No trouble, I take it? Not at all. Finky sends her regards, along with the rotten roast beef. Ah, glad to hear it. Kind out for Finky. Now, let's get that beef to Sir Patrick Delaney Podmore, and you'll be one step closer to finding those pages. This is all rather cryptic, Sir Nicholas. What's going on? Terribly sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. Sir Patrick organises the Headless Hunt, a group of headless ghosts who gather for various, uh, headless activities. Headless activities? Uh, yes, uh, you'll see. Anyway, I don't know how, but a member of that hunt, Richard Jackdaw, had the pages when he was alive. My plan is to take the rotten roast beef to Sir Patrick so that he'll allow me, uh, us, to engage with the hunt and speak to Jackdaw. Uh, shall we? Very well. I'd like to meet Sir Patrick myself and see this headless hunt. Ah, wonderful. You won't regret it. All right. Do stay behind him. It's Sir Patrick we want. Oi, Nesta, look who's here. What have we told you, nearly headless Nick? Hello, Sir Amzad. Do let us pass. We've brought a little something for Sir Patrick. Probably come to try to beg his way in again. <laughs> <laughs> Do they always talk to you like that? Oh, all in good fun. Once Sir Patrick lets me join the headless hunt, I'll be right there with them. This offering is sure to win him over. Uh, don't forget why I'm here, sir. Rest assured, you'll have your information from a young Jackdaw in no time. Wherever he may be. What I'd give for a flagon of mead or a nice leg of lamb right about now. Then this party would be complete. How about the next best thing, Sir Patrick? Ah, Sir Nicholas. And a student. Who let you in? Er, uh, we brought you a gift. This is all very suspicious. What do you really want? As if I need to ask. Um, it, it's Richard Jackdaw. Uh, where can we find him? Uh, may we speak to him? Jackdaw, eh? Why? Here he is now. What a shame. Without his head. I bet you've always wondered what that's like, eh, Nick? <laughs> <laughs> Sir, you jazz. <sighs> it's bound to be around here somewhere. Probably being used in a game. If you find it, I give you my permission to speak with him, my young model. <laughs> it's the least I can do for you for bringing this putrescent gift home. <laughs> uh, sir, there's another matter I wish to discuss with you, if I may. Tut, tut, Sir Nicholas. How many times do I have to tell you? Our entry requirements are quite clear. <laughs> but, sir, I... Uh, we aren't the headless except for a little bit of tendon hunt, after all. Now, please, follow me and I shall help you find your way Farewell, my young friend. Perhaps your luck with these chaps will be better than mine. Nice. Okay. 
Hmm, a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. to play our little game of hide-and-seek amongst the pumpkins. Hello again. Can you help me? Ah, St. Nicholas's young friend. Has he abandoned you? Not at all. I need to speak to Richard Jackdaw. Sir Patrick said his head might be around here somewhere. Indeed it might be. Hmm. It is a bit unorthodox to include a mortal, but if you do wish to speak with him... Oh, why not? You can speak with Jackdaw if you can find his head amongst these pumpkins. Not just once, but five times. Good old Dumfrey will move the head to a different spot each time you find it. Those are the rules. What say you? If that's what I need to do to speak to Jackdaw, I'll do it. Marvellous! Of course, a mortal holding a wand has an advantage over us ghosts. You can simply blast away to your heart's content. Remember, the game's not over until you find him five times. Begin! Cast away! I can do that too. Stubborn already! Looks like we need to find another pumpkin to hide it, eh? Hey. Whatever you say, Dumfrey, this is not my finest moment. Revelio! I've never seen a place like that. You make this look easier than it's supposed to be. Rebellion. would be the one to clean up this mess. Who would have thought a mortal would be so good at this? You've almost got him. Well, good job, I suppose. But we're not through with you. Oh, okay. what's going on? Revelio. I see you. I'd do that too if I had a wand. Well done. Of course, having a wand served you well. Still, I believe congratulations are in order. Mm-hmm. Not too bad for a mortal. Now, say what you need to say to old Jack Dor here. Hmm? You've earned it. Nicely done. But what's going on? You're not a member of the Headless Hunt. No, I'm not. Sir Nicholas said you might know the location of some pages I'm looking for. Merlin's beard. I know precisely the ones you mean. I pinched them from Peeves. How could I forget? The map on those pages led me to my demise. I was not ready for what awaited me in that cave. The pages are likely still mouldering away with my, uh, uh remains. Quite a final adventure, I must confess. The pages are why you lost your head, and I must visit a cave and search for your corpse. Yes. <sighs> You'd think a decapitated ghost would get used to the word corpse. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you where to go. Very well. I need those pages, so I suppose I'd better meet you. Thank you. Not to worry. I'll just need to be reunited with my body first. But Dumfrey can handle that. See you at the forest's edge. Right. What an adventure we have been on. Um, but... It continues. Okay, quests... Okay, let's do Professor Heggett's... Okay, let's go back to the map. Okay, 
I need to disallow and charm before I do that, so... Alright, so the next quest begins. Okay, successfully avoid an end by dodge rolling. I suppose one could smuggle a path into the door. Okay. Okay, so I need to now go to the world map. Okay, let's go here and see if we can find some enemies. What are you up to now? Okay. Before we do that, I think I need to get Expelliarmus. Okay, we're going to have to do that. Um, but I think we need to. Oh, there's some enemies over here that we can uh I tried to go around the spell crop and the poach. There's not a thing yeah. worth learning from civilized yeah. You! What is it you're doing? <laughs> Yeah. 
One more. Time to go to Hogwarts and excuse me. Whew, okay. And I think, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes this episode. So, see you later.